Maybe we should like push this in a little bit. That's good. Or you have another key thing. Okay. By the way, I started recording. <coughs> what? Started recording. Oh. Oops. <laughs> so tense. Stop being tense. How are you so tense? What? Tense, bro. I'm just standing here. Yeah, you're tense. And I'm tense as well. What does tense even mean? It means you're acting weird. Yeah. No. Okay. Give me that. No, <laughs> Today's a tutorial. Bang. Bang energy drink. Yeah, like we're going to get sponsored anytime soon. Today's ball spinning. Tutorial. Because Gavin wants to learn. Yeah, I want to learn so bad, guys. I know I want to learn so bad. I'm dying to learn this. Okay, okay, okay. So before we get started, I'm going to show a few ways to start. So your finger is either you're going to start with one finger, you're going to grab it like that and spin on your nail, or you could go possibly go like that and spin on your middle finger. I, I just choose one finger, but like that. Gavin's probably going to be using... The thumb and index though, because he's weird. And now he's wearing my cousin's no lens Yo, glasses. These looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> Professor Gavin over here, <laughs> Professor Gavin? It's kind of lit. That's so cute in Denver. Because it is. Just deal with it. Deal. Professional ball spinning right here. Okay. So we're gonna start getting started. Okay. So first step, you're just gonna just gonna practice throwing it up like that and just spinning it. You want you're gonna spin it towards you since I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you're gonna spin it that way with your left hand. Right hand, you're gonna spin it this way, like towards you. So you're just gonna practice spinning it up and trying to make sure it's perfectly like straight and it's it's like it's spinning like downwards. So you don't want to just be spinning slanted or also just go like that and fall off. So just practice spinning it in the air and letting it fall and packing it. See how it's like sl- it, it like, I'm probably sure you can't see that, but it's like slanted. So you gotta make it go just straight up. Like it's slanted. It's still slanted. It's still slanted. No, it's not. Hey, wait, I'm gonna give you a quick close up on this. Oh. It's slanted. It's still slanted. Okay. It's not. slanted. So you have to make it not slanted. It's still slanted. Because it doesn't listen to anyone. Make it straight up and down. Don't make it slanted. Okay, wait, wait. Sauce me the ball. Sauce me the ball. So you don't you don't want to be like Gavin and just have have Turn this way. You gotta you gotta have a side angle. Side angle. Side angle. Oh. Yeah, side angle. So you since no, I want to be this way though. If you look at oh. it from the front, how yeah. am I gonna see it? No, but just it's the same thing. Oh yeah, this way. So yeah. basically, what he's doing right now is his hand is sort of like tilted that way or this way, that way or that way, and when it's tilted, it'll, it'll just spin tilted like that. What you want to do is make sure your hand is flat and your ball, uh, like the ball is flat. So when you spin, like it just comes out flat. What I like to do kind of is I take it and when I spin, I spin like that. Instead of just like, instead of just twisting, I twist and then I push it. <laughs> like, I instead of just going like that, right? Because that doesn't give that much power. I like to twist it and then as soon as I'm here, instead of just releasing, I come here and just push it as hard as I can. So it'll be like that. And it'll be like nice and straight so then I can just put my finger right under it. Why is it so warm? This guy just sat here for three seconds and it's so warm. Holy. It's so slanted. Bro. Cool. Make sure your palm is flat. Make sure it's not flat, but like it's curving around and then it's like straight. Like it's still slanted. Okay, that's better. That's better. That's still slanted. Okay, now what you're doing. Now. Now what you're doing, you're kind of, 
instead of it being flat, he's like bringing it forward. What do you mean by like slanted? Like, is it like coming over, or like, do you mean like the spin is slanted? The spin is slanted. So you gotta make sure your spin is straight. Okay, see how when he's spinning, all right? Give me this. Oh, okay. Give me this. You gotta give it for. You gotta teach the viewers as well. See when he's spinning, right? He's sort of spinning it like that, so it's spinning like this. Like if it's spinning like that, that's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna go like that, and you're gonna you're gonna put your finger in sideways, and it's just gonna fall. You need it to be straight, or else it'll just straight up just fall. Bad. It needs to be like straight up so you can just put your finger on it. It can't it can't be slanted like that. My filming is terrible. Okay, yeah, it's better, better. Yes, that's nice. Yeah, see how it's like flat now? See that's much better. And just practice that, make sure you got that down. Every single time you get really good spin. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, see how it's like really flat? That's really good. So you just gotta continue have make sure making sure that it's flat and make sure it's very consistent. Hey guys, Gavin just did his time lapse of practicing spinning the ball. He's got it pretty consistent. Sometimes it's a little sloppy, but it's pretty consistent. You can use two hands, but um, as you can see, Gavin's pretty good at it. But it's much, it's harder to get your hand right under the ball after you do that. I prefer using one hand because I'm more comfortable with it. Since I'm on no life and I practice that for a really long time, don't judge me. <laughs> okay. You can stop. You can stop spinning the ball. Now what you can do. Gavin prefers using this technique with this. I'm not sure what you do. You go like this, or do you go like this? You should try some different techniques just to go like just practicing it. Try practicing like this. Try doing this. This. Yeah, this. Try. Use your no. Use your middle fingernail like this. No, this. Yeah, is this not this? You're going like this. So like this? This, like slanted. It's still on your, it's on the tip of your nail. Right there. It, oh my gosh. Let me, let me okay, you record. I know what you're talking about, just I can't do it. Man's was going like this. I'm not doing that. And then went like that. this. <laughs> Bro, he's supposed to be going like this. He's going like this and this. It's okay. So there's like different ways. So like this way, you can do one finger, which is a tiny bit harder. You can do one finger and then plus your middle finger, and then you can also do what Gavin was originally doing, which is the thumb and index. And there's also, of course, like. Like that and pinky, which I'm gonna attempt to do, and it hurts, but who cares? So, yeah. So, which one do you feel most comfortable with? This one. Okay, now when you're doing this one, right? Try not to make your finger like have a large surface area. Don't make it like your entire nail, make it like the tip of your nail. That's what you told me just not to do. No, I didn't. Yeah? I said, you said don't do this. This is the tip of my nail. No, that's the tip of your... That's the tick, tip of your finger. You're going like this, right? So this, this was our... I was hitting my nail. I was not hitting my finger. Yeah, you were hitting your finger. Don't no, I wasn't. Me. Yes, you were. I was hitting my nail. You have, to hit, go. <laughs> you have to hit the top of your nail. Don't, don't go like... Don't go like this where it's contacting both of them. Just make it contact one. The thumb is only there to support your index finger. Wait, wait. Just do what you're doing. See, so you're, you're kind of going like like this. Make sure I'm hitting it's this. Not no, you're going no. like this. Just no, not. replay, replay that, replay that, <laughs> replay that. Doing? <laughs> like, let me get a quick click. 
close-up inspection of this. Oh crap, I missed the shot. I missed the shot. Okay, he's going like this. I repeat, he's going like this. Oh! Oh, that was decently long. You're st Okay, wait. You can hear it. You can hear it. Like when you listen to it, it sounds like it's it sounds like both nails are scratching now. Just make sure it's only one nail. You're still going like this. Okay, yeah. Do what you're supposed to do. No. That's what I'm doing. Well that's not what you're supposed to do. I'm not hitting it like this, I'm hitting it like this. You're supposed to hit it like this. Well, I'm not gonna go like that. Okay, fine. No, I didn't say go like this. And what do you want to do? I said go like this. Okay. You're the it's just hitting your index finger. Like this? It's like this? You want to go like this? Or, sure, you can do as long as it's only hitting one finger and it's like the top part of your nail. You can do your your you can do your thumb if you want. I don't care. It just needs to be hitting one part of your nail. Just, just experiment with different types of things until you get the one that you like. <laughs> Gavin's now realizing why I kept on making him practice not making slanted things. He was all. He is literally just like, bro. If it's not slanted, I can do yeah, it for exactly. so long. Yeah, I'm practicing trying to not do a slanted. Okay, then just practice doing that. You don't have to practice like making it like that. Just practice throwing it. Just practice throwing it. If you can't do it, just continue practicing the basics. So just continue practicing that. Until you get it unlocked, every single time it's slanted. I'm gonna be extremely judgy. Slanted. Slanted. <laughs> that was good. That was slanted. 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 Extremely slanted that one. That one's really slanted. 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 Oh, that was decent. Slanted? Slanted? Dang. You gotta make sure it's not slanted. So make sure that you practice that. Gavin over here has been practicing for a really long time. He just saw both both of his time lapses. He's practicing for a really long time. He's getting better. He's still trying to figure out what technique he likes using the most. For some reason, he likes using his thumb. Don't know why, but <laughs> it's it's a very awkward position for me. But you, whatever feels comfortable, you can do, which is completely fine. As long as it feels comfortable and you can adjust to like where the ball is, it's fine. Now basically all you have to do is just practice it and practice it and practice it. You have to adjust, like if you feel how the ball is going forward, you have to adjust to it and continue going forward with it really fast. So then you can adjust to where the ball goes so it wouldn't fall. So you just need to learn how to adjust and adapt to how the ball moves. That's like the best way to learn. Gavin's sneezing because my go my basement is super dusty. He needs an EpiPen sooner or later. We can get that for him after. But for now, uh, we're going to see if I can transfer the ball over to him. Okay. Oh! Try to hold on to it. Try to hold on to it. Okay, okay. Make sure your fingers just don't move it. Okay? And make sure it's straight. So hard, how people do that? Come on. It's hard, my 
So Gavin's been practicing. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Gavin's been practicing. I've been practicing, oh. and he's just no. And he's been no lighting this for like an hour now. Oh. No. He's getting. He's getting much better. No way. No way. It's just practice. From here on out, after you learn like how to like get the ball spinning, and like keeping your hands still, it's all about practice and learning how to adjust. Oh. That's so cool. Guys, hit that like button, bro. Oh. 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 No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. At some point, at some point after you start learning a lot, you, it just clicks and then you get really, and then you just get it. Oh. You know the gyroscope thing where you like turn to the side but it still won't fall over? No. Like, have you never watched like Mark Rover on um, gyroscope? No. Like, like, it's like a really spinny thing and then like it can like lean this much and it would still go like this. Like what the helicopter call? one? Like, like the, you know, you know, the like flying the phone scan? No, no, like in physics, you know how like there's that spinning wheel thing? Like the top? Okay, so, yeah, it's kind of like a top. You know how a top, it can, it can go like this, but it still won't fall over? Uh, okay, buddy. That's like a, dry, it's like a gyroscope. Yeah, because it's, it, the centrifugal force is keeping exactly, it up. Exactly, same thing with the ball. The ball, even if it tilts a little bit over, it'll still, it'll still stand up. Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, everyone knows it. <laughs> oh? Oh! oh yo, Bro, no why'd you way. let that fall? You got that. You just let no that fall. Way. You no you would have held up for so much longer. He's learned to adapt to use the middle finger and index finger because he's waist. And instead of using his do thumb and index finger like a weirdo. I can't do that anymore. Oh. Yo, don't hit the plants, man. Okay, don't, don't hit worry. the plants. Like I said, you have to learn which, how you like to hold it. Cause three fingers, three fingers, three fingers, <laughs> three fingers. <laughs> what is this? Boy, it's supposed to help them learn, not give them bad technique. <laughs> Dang it, three fingers doesn't. Just work. learn whichever way you like feels most comfortable. Bro, you gotta adjust. If you if it's falling one way, you gotta adjust to it. Okay, right now, Gavin, not even gonna lie, right now you're kind of on the easy part. Bro, don't hit my started calling me, but calling Gavin, but oh, whatever. Continue. That's the easy part. How is this the easy part? This is so hard. Learn how to Okay, once you get to the using your hand to spin it, it's so hard. Because every time you spin it, it just knocks off. It gets so annoying. This is the easy part, at least for me, for most people, I th uh, in my opinion. Oh, it's just all about persistence. You gotta practice learning how like the ball like tilts and everything. See, like that, you could have held up. You're just. You're just falling forward with the ball. You're just letting it fall down. Don't make it fall down. Adjust to it. I can't, bro. Why oh. can't you? Ex tell me why you can't. That's so hard. Why? Because, like, when I move it, like, the ball moves with my finger. So it just goes even further. That's why you have to move it fast. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, the faster you get the ball spinning, the easier it is to, like... And stay on your finger. <laughs> what is this? You're doing a Kevin Durant dance while you're freaking spinning a basketball? Oh, oh no. Bro, keep it in the same spot. Oh? Bro, oh. what is this? Come on, you're supposed to show the viewers that you're good at basketball. Uh, good at spinning a basketball. I'm not supposed to hit some random pot I have in my backyard. Oh, uh, I may or may not hit a pot. Well, Gavin, you gotta get good. Okay, I'll ch we'll check back into you probably tomorrow when. Well, maybe not tomorrow, but we'll make another video checking up on Gavin's progress sooner or later. 
Because Gavin still needs to do some practice before he can get good. <laughs>